Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click that little blue button right there. Click it, subscribe now. We're gonna be working with Crackle Medium. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. You asked, I delivered. I had done a video not too long ago, I'll put a link in the cards, where I used Mod Podge and glue to make layered paint, crackled paint finish. And I got a comment about trying an actual crackle medium so that you could see what the difference would be using this product. So I picked this up when I was at, it'll come to me. <laughs> craft direct i was in craft direct and i picked i saw this and i went oh okay well now's the time so i picked it up it is home decor folk art crackle finish it's a true crackle medium i even read the directions guys for those of you who know me you're probably proud of me right now we are going to crackle finish this lovely mirror back here um i'm gonna get you guys set up and turned around and point it at the mirror so I can show you. But what we need to do is we're gonna paint a coat of this on, nice, even, no back brushing. That was very important, do not back brush. Um, and that just means don't go over it too many times because it'll start to get thick and gummy. You wanna leave it uneven, I guess. But it says to put an even coat and I'm like, how do you get an even coat without back brushing? But I'm not, I'm not all together convinced on that. Uh, I'm going to attempt to get an even coat with it, but after that coat is finished, you let it dry. And since I have to go pick up my kid in a half an hour, now is the perfect time to get this coat on so that when I come back, it'll be dry. Let's get you set up. Okay, well, it's really hard to do a mirror without seeing all the hideous things on my wall up there. This is my lovely $4 mirror that I picked up at a thrift store. And you can see it's an ugly blue. The blue is uneven. It's not well coated. Um, somebody did a quick paint job on it. Um, it's clear. So as you can see, I've shake, I've shaken up, shaken it up. I don't know. And it's clear. So the Crackle Medium is a clear product. It's not going to be easy to see where it is, but I'm going to get it mostly in here. I want to give it like an old world crackle finish. So the blue to me screamed like a Scandinavian blue. And you know, in those Scandinavian countries, they use the bright colors and all that good stuff. But if you throw a coat of white over that and give it a nice crackle finish, don't back brush Stacy. Oh my gosh, I'm having a hard time with the don't back brush. All right, so I'm going to get a solid coat even coat around this whole thing you can't see it because it's clear but trust me it's there and I don't know if it'll even show up at all Let me get the edges coated here and that's what I'm gonna do so that's the entire process is my understanding is get one coat on and let it dry So the top coat is on, or the one coat, and it said over over coating, over brushing can result in finer cracks or no cracks at all. So that's why you don't want to keep back brushing, which I kind of did in some spots. So we'll have to see how that turns out. Um, my impressions are it was a little difficult to use because it's clear. <laughs> and I went, um, did I hit that spot? Did I hit that spot? Did I hit that spot? So... Hopefully it comes out with some deep cracks in some places. Some fine cracks are fine. No cracks at all would be horrifying. I would be like, oh no, because I really want that blue to show through. I don't want to end up having to repaint the whole thing. So we will take a peek and like we'll paint over it with white in like half hour, 45 minutes. We'll let it dry 
give it a new coat of white over the top and then hopefully we'll get some nice juicy crackles. All right, it is dry for real. That's not sticky or anything, which I thought it might be. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, and I've got here, this is white chalk paint. So I took actually two different chalk paints and mixed them together because I only had a tiny bit of each one left and I thinned it out and I may have thinned it just a little too much, but I think it'll be fine. So that's what we're using. So white chalk paint over the top. So we get that nice matte finish. Um, and we're gonna try not to overbrush, right? We wanna make sure we get a nice coat on there. Cause we can't, we can't overbrush. Oh, it's already starting to crackle. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Okay. It's already starting to work. Yeah, it's crackling. Went crazy here. Okay. Good note to self. Do not overbrush. They are not joking, guys. You cannot backbrush this. It's a good thing I'm using chalk paint because I'm getting it all over the glass. It's crackling fast. Holy buckets. So this is crackling a lot faster than the glue did. That's the number one note thing I'm noticing about this. Well, for the person that wanted me to compare, um, it crackles much faster. With the glue, you don't let it dry completely either. So it's a different process altogether. Wow. It's nice. It's nice. I'm not going to lie. It's nice. This is crackling fast. So you kind of have to use a thick coat of paint and then not back brush. Wow, it looks nice. It looks nice. It looks nice. This would be really pretty. Okay, now I want to do I want to do the base in a different color. <laughs> Oh, this, I'm, now I'm seeing color combinations where this would be really super pretty, but this looks nice too. Really nice. What I could totally see like a gray base coming through and then it would give it more of a subtle feel. Or, you know, you could do, oh, looks really nice. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to dry. I think I let it dry completely and then I will show you guys the results. You could probably see already that it's starting to crack and here you can see on the camera. But you should see what's happening up here. It looks nice. Real nice. I'm worried about this piece in the corner though. Hang on, let me see if I can fix that. So hopefully that that's okay what I just did. But it looks good. Well, it's done. <laughs> Let me show you how it turned out. That's it. Um, I like it. Couple things that are a little glitchy for me. And you can, I'll pop up a picture here. You can see where I back brushed it. 
<laughs> you can be rest assured that if it says do not back brush, I'm going to mess that project up because my hand's doing this constantly in one direction. Um, I did that in a couple spots. So I'm going to try and fix them. Luckily, the chalk paint comes off nice. I don't know if that'll affect the crackle medium underneath. We'll find out. Um, because it went unclear, I struggled with figuring out the, the piece underneath was glossy and then the crackle medium was glossy. So it was hard for me to tell where I stopped. It was the clear throws you off just a little bit, just a little bit. But other than that, I think it works fantastic. You see how fast it crackled? Really, really fast. So I thought, you know, I'd use it again. The price wasn't too outrageous. I think for this, it was, was it $10? And then I had a coupon from Craft Direct. And, you know, they give the coupons that are like 40% off, like Hobby Lobby did or does. Somebody said they stopped doing it. So I don't know. I, haven't, I don't have a Hobby Lobby near me. I have to pack lunch to go to Hobby Lobby. Um, but somebody said they stopped doing that. But at Craft Direct, I think this was $10. And then I had like 40% off. So I didn't think it was too expensive. Let me see what it is on Amazon. Yeah, it was the same on Amazon, $9.49. So it's not overly expensive and you use very little. I mean, I barely dip my brush and this is still a full bottle. So this would go a long way. I don't know if you were doing like a whole piece of furniture. This would probably cover a desk. I mean, in all honesty, there's a lot in here for the little amount that you use. Um, I don't think it's terribly expensive considering how well it works and how fast it crackled. It still gives that faux crackle finish, which annoys me. Um, nothing looks like real age, you know, and, but if you want that look, I mean, this is fine. <laughs> There'll be people who love it anyway. I like the chippy peely, you know, chippy peely look, not the crackle look, which this is the alligator skin look kind of, that, you know. I don't know what I'm saying, but I am not a huge fan of the faux crackle. I don't use it very often. This bottle's going to last me a century. <laughs> That's not even hyperbole. It's going to last me a century because I don't use it that much. I'm going to have to find pieces that I specifically want to crackle if I want to get through that whole bottle because that very little, very little. I mean, there was hardly any on the brush and it would go a long way and I mean, I dipped my brush, what, five or six times and the whole thing was covered for that mirror. And that's a good size mirror. It's not a tiny mirror by any means. So I like it. I think it works great. That's everything. <laughs> I know it's super exciting stuff, right? But I really wanted to give you guys what you're asking for. So when this person said, can you try it? I wanted to make sure that I fit that in for sure. Because... Yeah, I guess if I hadn't tried it before, I might as well try it now. If I'm going to try one, I'm going to try the other. So if there's other things, other products that you want to see me try, don't forget to comment down below. You can also email me on my website. There's a form you fill out and just email me. Let me know um, if you you know, want me to try a product or want me to try a craft or blah, 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 blah. You have questions. Let me know. I'm happy to do a video or answer them directly. And, uh, if you haven't yet got one of your happy junket shirts, don't forget to click the links below. Um, got sweatshirts too, because we're coming into fall and winter. You're going to see me in my sweatshirt a lot. I finally got like all the different colors that I like. I didn't get pink. I got the blue because I like the blue better, but you know. Um, I wanted to try all the different styles of the new, the new merch vendor shirts. So I did buy, you'll see me now in all my different shirts. Um, but click the links below. Get your shirt today. And if you want to send me a thrift flip challenge, which those will be coming. They're coming up next. And if you want to buy me a coffee, you can always do that. That link is below too. It's sort of like Patreon. It supports me. It supports this channel, but there's no monthly commitment. So if you just want to go, hey, good job. Leave a tip. <laughs> 
actually buying the shirts and the merch also supports me and the channel. I'm so grateful to everybody that's already gotten theirs. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I know I mentioned it at the beginning, but that's the blue button right there. That's the subscribe button. Click that button, get subscribed today. Don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified. And as always, happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.